Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna do a in-depth review, software review of Power ISO. This was this is kind of a in response to a request I had got we got I got from Josh Crimzor. Yes, can you do a software review on Power ISO? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be making it. This is gonna this video is a review of Power ISO and mostly the basic features of it and what you can do with it. And I'll be trying to, you know, practically show you guys what what's possible with this software. So first off, PowerISO is a free software. You can uh, to download it. Uh, you can just go to download.com and download it from here. Just look for PowerISO. Um, you can go you can go to the PowerISO website directly, but I prefer downloading it from download.com. If you guys watch my other videos, you know I always use download.com uh, just because it's it's safer. I know it's been tested. Uh, if I go to the other sites, maybe it's some sort of virus from some random website. Uh, so I'd, I I prefer going in from here, downloading it from here. So click on you have Power Power ISO right here. Uh, click on it, and from here you can just hit download now and you'll have it downloaded after you download it you can uh, you can install it and just set it up it's it's very easy to, it just takes a few a uh, few seconds you just hit next for everything you don't have to change any settings um, so yeah after you have it downloaded like that then you will have power ISO installed on your computer so this is it we're gonna open it and since it is it, it's a free software but it's it it gives you like the basic uh, basic version. Uh, some of some of the features are are restricted a little bit, so you can't use all. You can't use it to the full extent. But uh, the basic basic version is it's good enough for many people. They don't have to go with the advanced version. But uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's asking either you can order the full version, enter the code, or continue unregistered. So we're gonna go ahead with continue unregistered because we don't need to register at the moment and this is it right now so um, power so it gives you a few basic we're just gonna go through the basic features at the moment so first off you can you can um, you can add files over here you can go ahead and add different 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 files you want onto power ISO uh, so after after you do that then you can you can either burn it burn all those files to a DVD or you can uh, make an image out of it uh, of the files you made but uh, yeah the ba you can add files then you can if you add you can get an ISO if you load an ISO you can extract all the files onto your computer as well because sometimes you download ISOs uh, for example over here I have this is a crisis 2 ISO I have um, don't worry, I got it completely legal. I bought it from uh, uh, one of the game game sites. So uh, this ISO it comes in a .ISO format. So as you can see, you right now there's there's really no nothing you can do at the moment. If you didn't have Power ISO, it's you won't be able to really open this file and see what's in it. But since I do have Power ISO, for instance, let's see if I double click on it. Uh, it comes up with the same message. Uh, we'll go continue and register, and now it shows me all the files that's within that ISO. Uh, ISO is it's kind of like a virtual DVD, for instance. Like let's say you have, let's say we had Crisis Two on a DVD. What we what we would normally do is we'll take that DVD, uh, insert it into our computer, and after that we should we would be able to. We would be able to see see that DVD in our you know on our uh, DVD drive over here. We'd be able to see it, but an I an ISO what it does is it it virtualizes that entire process. So rather than having a DVD, you have an ISO file, and that ISO file uh, has all those files has all the files that a normal you know a DVD or something would have so in here I have the setup file and 
everything everything's already here um so uh within this process once once you have this iso file loaded on power iso you have a bunch of different options you could do so first off you could go go and add add additional files to the iso if you want um if you want you can extract this extract all of these files onto a destination that you pick and rather than having the ISO you're gonna have all these files extracted to that location so if, if you prefer you could do that as well um, you can also copy you can copy all these files all the files that are within this ISO to another to a disk uh, or you can make make an image out of it sorry um, so after that uh, other than other than copying then you can you can also compress you can compress everything within this th within this file to make it even smaller than the size that it is. Right now, this file is uh, almost eight gigs. So, if we use compress, we would be able to make it even smaller than that. And then you have the burn option. Uh, Power ISO is this is one of one of the very useful features of Power ISO because what you can do is you just um, you just load your ISO you just open up your ISO using power ISO and then you can just burn burn all the files within here just highlight all of these and then you can burn it to a DVD you just insert your DVD into your computer or maybe even a blu-ray I don't know and uh, you can burn all these files into that DVD and then you can rather than using an ISO if you don't prefer ISOs you can just use that DVD uh, to to you know make it to transport it wherever you want. It'll be easier for you in that sense. But uh, yeah, that that's the burn feature. And then now there's the mount. Almost you know, 80% of people use PowerISO for this for this reason alone, uh, for mounting to you to be able to mount uh, the ISO. So what mounting does is right now uh, let's see if you see these are my the different drives that I have right now I have my normal DVD drive that's on my computer as you can see there's nothing I have nothing loaded onto that and uh, these are just a few other drives that I have um, but now what power ISO does what you can do with power ISO you can you can create a virtual drive and we're gonna go ahead and do that so I'll show you guys can see what I mean you can go mount and under here where it says set number of drives you can pick how many drives virtual drives you wanna make so for now we can just make one drive We'll make one virtual drive and it says you need to restart your computer before you use uh, power ISO virtual drive Let's see. So we gotta restart our computer. Um, yep, we'll have to restart the computer. So I will be back in a short bit, and uh, we'll continue from there. All right, guys. Um, so I restarted the computer, and now that we, what we did was we enabled uh, mounting an image through power ISO so after you restart your computer you will notice that if you check your notifications down here there is a small icon here called power ISO virtual drive manager so what this is is you now have a virtual drive on your computer what I mean by that is if you go to my computer you'll notice that now there's this there's a extra drive here the old drive that's that's a virtual drive that was created by power ISO itself so within this drive um, if you want you can go ahead you can re you can right click here you can right click the virtual drive manager and you can enable more drives if you want you can make two drives you see how I just made two drives now or uh, well we can just set it I'll set it back to one for now just so you can see it's already clustered here so I don't want it to, to be more clustered uh, but yeah that, that was the virtual virtual drive that we created now that we have a virtual drive we can do a whole bunch of stuff um, 
so what what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go um, go back to my games go to crisis two so now now with this ISO file what what I can do is I can mount it onto this virtual drive which is basically the same as you inserting your DVD onto your CD-ROM drive and then it shows up here on my DVD uh, drive, on my E drive right rather than doing that what I can do is I can mount my ISO and it'll show up here on my O drive the same way I would insert my DVD so how you do that is you can you can you can either open this up double click it and go you can hit continue unregistered and you can hit mount over here uh, and it'll when you click this it'll give you the option mount image to the O drive and you can mount it over there if you want but the easier e easier way that I do is that I follow normally is I just right click it and over here there's this power ISO option and over uh, under this then you you have different options you can extract to or extract here which with which is basically within this folder uh, or um, or you can you have this option over here where you can mount image to drive O so uh, I, I find that easier rather than opening power ISO up so I click this uh, but also you s just to cover these options it says set number of drives so you can add more drives here as well or you can do set drive option which is auto start auto mount um, so we're just gonna go mount image to drive O and as you can see over here now it detects that oh um, crisis 2 is loaded on this drive so if we double click this you can see that these are all the files that are within that ISO as we saw before so this is this is one huge uh, feature of power ISO that that enables that helps a lot of people out that's very useful in this software because you can load your ISOs onto your computer and treat it like a normal DVD drive for example and you can load load your games load your software load load whatever is within that ISO so it's a very handy way handy way of installing your software or games so yeah that's that's pretty much how you mount an ISO file um, in addition to that uh, let's go ahead and will actually create an ISO. I'll show you guys how you create an ISO. Um, first off though, Power ISO, because we have the free version right now, we're not registered, it limits us to creating an image of only 300 megs, megabytes. So uh, let, let me just, I'm gonna make an image of this Poke MMO. If you guys uh, have seen, are following my channel, you know I made that tutorial on how you install Poke MMO and uh, how, the process of it so uh, just for the purpose of this video and its example I'm gonna make an image of the Poke MMO so what you wanna do is go to that go to the folder with the files that you wanna make an image of in my example we're gonna go to this folder the Poke MMO folder and once you're in that folder highlight all the files that you want to be in that image the ISO image and then right click it and within here within uh, go under the power ISO option and over here you have you have this these uh, this option over here add to image file so click that add to image file uh, click continue unregistered and over here it gives you three options you can make a .iso file or a .bin file or a .daa file and all three of these file types are you can open using power iso so um, but the most common file version that a lot of people are used to is .iso so we'll go ahead and check off .iso and you can select the location of where you want this file to be where this image the ISO file to be and uh, after that if you want you can hit properties over here and it gives you a few advanced options so um, as the label I can you you if you want to name that ISO file this is where you name it 
So I'm gonna go ahead and name this Poke MMO ISO. And uh, there's a few other advanced options, but uh, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not even. I'm not sure exactly what what these might be. But uh, information you can see the information of this this ISO general. There's advanced over here. You can uh, you can put a password to this ISO if you want. So it's password protected. Um, there's a few other options over here. Split to multiple volumes. Pause after each volume. Uh, I'm not gonna do this all either. But over here, compression, the compression method, by default it's set to normal, but uh, there's also, you can choose better and best, uh, which is a little bit slower. So, the high, the more, like say, if you pick best, what that means is your, your file, the compression of the files, uh, all these files together, it's going to try and make it as small as possible. But uh, the drawback is it takes longer to make this ISO. Um, but uh, that means the end result is that you have a smaller file so it's easier to uh, send to people or to use so I'm gonna use click on better just for this example then you have comment you can add comments and date and time as well but uh, and then after that just hit OK now that we have everything set the way we want you can go ahead and hit OK and it's going to start making the ISO. As you can see, it's it's very small, so it just takes a few seconds. And now you can see we have our ISO file. So we 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 just created this ISO right now, and within this ISO we have all the files that we highlighted and we selected to be in the image. So yeah, that's that's pretty much how you guys can create an image an ISO image file and I showed you guys how you can I showed you how to mount the ISO on your computer so that this that's pretty much the main features of Power ISO and what it's used for so you guys it it, it, it helps out a lot when you need to uh, you know when you need to load load your files whenever you need um, and yeah uh, in addition just one last note is since we made our ISO, even though you have your ISO, you can also add add additional files after you made that ISO. And how you do that is, uh, you you have this add option, and you can add files and folders. And now you can go ahead, browse to the files you want, and add them onto this ISO. That's an additional feature. And also, you can burn, as I mentioned, you can burn this ISO now to a DVD or something, and go ahead and use it as a normal DVD so yeah pretty much those are those are the pre uh, main features of Power ISO uh, thank you for watching this in-depth review of Power ISO I hope it helped you guys out and I hope you enjoyed thank you for watching please don't forget to share this video watch my other videos comment rate and subscribe thank you guys take care